come on, Jack. It's always fun when an artist has some nice things. Like this is. Oh, guy sits there. This is. This is. So someone can join you. But. I'm just following you. Listen. No, it's it's fun. It's fun as she's sharing uh, when the, when an artist you know shows up to an opening like this, and then we have some nice people you know coming to see what's going on in the art world. So uh, so with that happening. Uh, I, I, I like to write poetry, so I thought I'd take time to write a poem with the theme of this show, The Immigration, Mining, and... Labor. Labor. <laughs> okay, so as it goes, I'll read the poem first, okay? It reads, Mind your own business as golden thoughts come your way, digging through creative choices to thrill one's mind expanding play. Challenge the choices with gusto to flow. The constructive outcome may keep you on the go. Enjoy your creative flow. There you go. Enjoy. Yeah. So, so see, just for a flash for the people that are here, it, that's why it's fun to just kind of do what you like to do all the time. And it keeps you happy and, and running. See, I'm a 65-year-old kid. And we're, yeah. we're all kids until we think we're old. I'm the oldest guy here. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. And that's why it's fun just to be where you're at at this moment, because it is fun. So, anyways, thank you for listening and carry on. Thank you I just want to ask you, while we have their attention, uh, can you tell us a little bit about your mind, your own business? Oh, sure. Okay. Thank you. Uh, thank you. I, I, did, I have a couple pieces down here. And what's wonderful, like all these were done beautifully through someone's creative mind. And so I had my chance to do that. So just for the heck of it, lately I've been taking paint on, on a dowel, which is a long piece of wood, or a pencil. But pull it out of a paint and drool it on another on a canvas. In my case, and I had painted it white first because I'm working with black and white. I want black and white. So with that hot thought in mind, uh, and we're dealing with a uh, mining coal. Oh, I think I'll take some coal and I'll drool really wet white, drooling black on that. Then I grab the coals and put them on the wet paint. And that's what dried it to the wall, to, you know, to the painting to be on the wall. So it's just, that's what made, oh, that's fun, that's fun. So that's why it's fun to do that. And then came along this, and that's, this is where all this coal is on this golden backdrop, like the golden thoughts that we get all day and all the time. So then there was a short thought put here that reads, mind your own business as golden thoughts come your way, do mind your own business. Okay. So let me, and just for the heck of it, I always like to do this, especially in a gathering like this. Uh, it's nice to read it twice, because then you'll hear it the second time. Okay? Uh, okay, so it says, mind your own business as golden thoughts come your way, do mind your own business. Yeah. Okay. So that's that's a, another fun, creative part of life. In my fun way, I was part of a uh, I, a, a show where there's a bunch of cars around. What is it? The Art OK, and that's down in Trinidad. Every September, we have this annual show, and so uh, you can take your car and put uh, found objects all over your car, which I did just in my artist way, my artist approach. I chose to take a lot of my paintings and hung them around my car, and then I, uh, this was something, this one I did last year, but I did a, I'm using my imagination all the time, I'm brainstorming, so the whole important thing is, the top of my car at this parade I was in, I, I sprayed uh, wall filler, which is foam, into a brain sheet uh, cut out in the earth. So it was about yay by yay. So in other words, in the end, I pull out a big foam brain, I put it on a, uh, on a uh, card table, and then I started sticking my thoughts into it. I brainstorm all the time. So I made little lightning bolt 
bolts shooting out of the brain. Huh? And another one was like uh, on the cutting edge of life. No. So I put saw blades in the brain. In other words, the, that foam was just like what we can all do. I'm going to take time today and go put something in this, and that's going to be sculpture for the front yard. And then someone will look at it and go, oh, what's that? And so it's kind of neat. You wake up your neighbors, you know, so their brain starts going. Uh, so, anyway, yeah. I am so I'm happy. A bit smile, but as it, as it goes, yeah, so you can make your own ties. You know, but like, we used to always, because we would always buy the clock when I get it right. So I decided, I found this on the side of the freeway, I go, what I call, gator honey. And so